You can check for yourselves, countries who, who followed that are in a better position than others. This is fact. We can only give advice to countries, but one thing should be clear. We don't have any mandate to force countries to implement what we advise them. It's up to the countries to take our advice or reject it. But we give our advice based on the best science and evidence. Maybe one example is, as you remember, on January 30, we declared the highest level of emergency, global emergency, on COVID, COVID-19. Based on the International Health Regulation, WHO can declare the highest level of global emergency, and we did that on January 30th. During that time, as you may remember, there were only 82 cases outside China. No cases in Latin America, actually. No cases in Africa. Only 10 cases in Europe. No deaths in the rest of the world. Nothing. So the world should have listened to WHO then carefully. Because global emergency, the highest level of emergency, was triggered on January 30, when we only had 82 cases and no deaths in the rest of the world. And every country could have triggered all its public health measures possible. I think that suffices the importance of listening to WHO's advice. And then we advise the whole world to implement a comprehensive public health approach. And we said, find, test, isolate, and do contact tracing, and so on. You can check for yourselves countries who, ho who followed that are in a better position than others. This is fact. So again, I will come back. I can give you many examples, but I don't want to take much of this time because there are many people who want to ask additional questions. But one thing I would like to repeat is, I assure you that WHO gives the best advice we can based on science and evidence. It's up to the countries to reject or accept. But from our experience so far, what we have seen is some countries accept, some may not. At the end of the day, each country takes its own responsibility.